Hey everyone, this is the Phoenix back to do another energy update for the sign of Cancer. Just keep in mind these are general readings, they're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, I am having specials and personal readings for Valentine's Day. You guys could get in, to con in contact with me with the information in the description box. All right, so let's see what is happening for you guys this week. You're manifesting something. You're calling in something into your life. It could be a specific person, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This person is very attractive and you want to have some type of connection to them. But this is someone that you may have walked away from in the past. Now you're trying to find the strength and the courage to move back towards this person. Or you're trying to get them to move towards you because you're manifesting this person back into your life. Hmm. You could also be dealing with a Leo. Yeah. You may have lied to this person or deceived them, or there could have been a third party presence here. But you're being very cautious as regards to going towards this person. Could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn as well. But you feel like this person no longer cares to be in a connection with you or cares to even speak to you. Yeah. You feel like you've missed the opportunity with this person and you're manifesting them back into your orbit. They have closed off communication with you. And you feel like it's a done deal, but you can't get over them. So you're manifesting them to reach back out to you, to come towards you, to make an offer to you. Yeah. Because at the point in time that this person was trying to have a connection to you, you were emotionally unavailable. But now you've made the choice to come towards this person, but you feel like they are no longer available to you. Mm -hmm. Like they've given up on the connection. They felt betrayed by you, so they left the connection and they walked away. But now you're realizing that this person is a soulmate to you. Let's see, how do, how do they feel? How do they feel towards cancer? Let's see how your person is feeling. They are defensive, but they're hopeful. They have their walls up when it comes to you, but they would still give you a chance if you move towards them. Yeah, could be an Aries Leo Sage for some of you, but this person is not into game playing or casual hookups or stuff like that. They actually have been waiting on you to come towards them. Because they know eventually you would have realized that they were your person. So they took the time, the separation, they, they took it as a time to heal themselves. So they too have also been doing some healing. So this separation for both of you was to get you both to that place where you can realize and appreciate one another. Yeah. They act like they don't care because they feel like if they care too much, you would take advantage of them. So they are in this energy where they're very cold, they're very distant, and they cut you off because they felt like you didn't want to be part of their life or that you didn't want to have a relationship with them. Now they're using their head over their heart and they have decided that it's either you come correct or you don't come at all. 
So that is this person's energy. It's either you're coming towards them to have a relationship with them, but they're no longer into the hot and cold, on and off type of situation. Yeah. They will receive your communication and they will actually communicate with you. But for a lot of you, this person is waiting for you to figure out yourself. So, yep, it is a past life connection. So there is a bit of push and pull when it comes to this connection. But it is also a soulmate and you're now realizing that this person is your soulmate. But they may have realized it before. They're living their best life and they're not going to entertain being a third party or even entertain you dealing with other people while dealing with them. Let's see what is the outcome to this situation. Yeah, this person has put up boundaries where you are concerned. And for you, they are acting like they don't care, but they still do. You just have to come correct when it comes to being in a relationship with them. What is the outcome to the situation? What is the outcome to the situation? What is the outcome? So you will get the victory when it comes to this person and this relationship. But you have to be the one to initiate contact with them. They are not going to initiate contact with you. You walked away from them and they are not interested in chasing anyone. Yeah. But you have been stuck for a while because you've been trying to figure out how to get back to that person, how to get things back the way it used to be. So you're in this energy of not knowing how to get back to them because they blocked you. They may have stopped communicating with you, but you now see them as your wish fulfillment. You now see them as someone that you can definitely have this type of love connection with. But you are also the one that is blocking your way when it comes to having the new beginning with the person. Because you are afraid to take a leap of faith in their direction. I do see you writing messages and deleting them. Because you are afraid to press send. Yeah. So you are waiting on them to communicate with you and they are waiting on you to communicate with them. So it's a pretty much wait and see game because nobody is reaching out to say how they feel. Nobody is messaging, but you both have the secret crush on each other, basically. Yep. Yeah, because they felt like they were doing the advancing and you were doing nothing. And... Although you may have a lot of regrets, they can't know that until you communicate it to them. So although you may be afraid to take the first step, now is the appropriate time for you to do so. Because this silence is only going to hurt the both of you. Somebody needs to take the initiative and communicate. So, let's see what other messages are coming to as advice for you guys. What else does Pisces need? I'm sorry, Cancer needs to know. Okay, so it's time for you to not only do deep contemplation but time to act on it so for a lot of you you need to do some maturing here and be the bigger person mm -hmm. yeah because you know that this person is your person now but at a point in time you won't giving them what it is they were requiring so you have to make the change you have to make the first step you have to send the first message before this new beginning could happen the divine is stepping in to push you to do it, but you have to take the action to do so. 
You might be taking advice from family and friends as regards to letting go of this person, but you know in your heart of hearts you can't. But I do see you reaching out to this person, but you're going to be very fearful of it because you feel like this person has totally given up on you. Let's see. What is the love messages for this situation? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Huh. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Appearance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change what that which is beyond our control. So, send that message. So this is what I have for you guys. I hope it does help. Have a good one.